All right, I wanted to uh, go through the proofs from quiz 14. Uh, so those of you who have missed, missed them, I wanted to make sure you uh, saw how to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, continue numbering uh, the proof starting. I'm not going to re I'm not going to rewrite the premises. I'm just going to start with the third line of the proof. So what's going on here? Well, our, our conclusion is a uh, conditional statement. And the thing to notice here is that I've got my premises are two conditional statements, right? Um, here's one conditional statement, first premise. Here's another conditional statement, the second premise, right? Um, they're conditional statements because the main operator of each of these sentences is a conditional. So there's the main operator of the second premise. Here's the main operator of the first premise. And the rule that's used, there's just one rule to go right to the conclusion, which is uh, if L then R, or L horseshoe R. And that rule is hypothetical syllogism on lines 1 and 2. It doesn't matter the order um, that you enter the lines as long as you get the correct lines. Here it's pretty obvious there's only two lines you could cite and uh, hypothetical syllogism um, cites both those lines. So the thing to notice here is that there's a middle term. Each of these conditional statements contain this this term I'm calling a term, uh, the statement B and M. And you can see how we can kind of connect these two statements via this same, this matching middle term, right? And that allows us essentially to eliminate that middle term and connect the antecedent of this conditional with the consequent of this conditional, and that's what the conclusion is. So uh, that is how you do number one.